Uh, welcome back to the studio, Sheriff Johns. Thank you so much for having me in today. Happy to do it. So now you've had an opportunity to hear Mr. Klein's initial interview for this program, and so my first question to you is, are there any statements in that interview that present any concerns or that you'd like to respond to? Absolutely. So I, um, again, I want to encourage uh, listeners to reach out to me uh, with questions because uh, they're not being presented with the facts. Um, he indicates that we had a sergeant that self-promoted himself to lieutenant and the board was called in to clean up the mess. Uh, again, this is completely untrue. What happened is we had a sergeant um, and I had been meeting with this sergeant and discussing about changing his name uh, to a lieutenant position. Um, we actually went to human resources regarding the issue. We received direction from the human resources department, which I have in writing. Um, basically, that was to take this to the employees association. Mm -hmm. uh, we took it to the board of the employees association. Um, they said that because it was a name change only, they had no interest in um, contesting it, basically. Essentially, what happened was, uh, Near the beginning of the fire, I identified the fact that I needed um, the ability. Well, let me go back. I had had previous discussions with the special operations sergeant about changing his title only to lieutenant. It was, uh, as you know from uh, our previous discussions, I was interested in having lieutenants and captains. Um, yes, the board. Um, or I should say the association stated that they weren't interested in doing that. Um, so my intent was to have the, the classification or the name change only. Um, what was brought to the association was the job title and what that person did. It was going to be considered different. Um, in this case, it's just merely a name change. Uh, the background behind the name change is that um, we have deputies, we have sergeants, and we have a special operations sergeant, and then obviously patrol commander and under sheriff and sheriff. When you have a gray area between sergeants, um, and so in theory, a special operations sergeant it would supervise or could supervise or outranks a sergeant, but they still have the same name, sergeant, even though there's special operations in front of them. So the intent here is solely the fact that there's this clear chain of command so that if the special operations sergeant or lieutenant is working or I have him uh, doing a special detail, sergeants know that's the guy that they answer to. That's, that's the reality of it. There's no change or there was no intention of changing uh, the classification as far as his pay rate, anything like that. But it sounds like there's a there is a change in authority. No, the, no, because theoretically that person's in charge of sergeants now. It's just the way that they look at it. But the the, the title lieutenant, um, and so you've got prior military supervising Sheriff Solo. Um, there is. There's a distinct and recognized difference between a sergeant and a lieutenant. Correct. And that's but, the goal. But to say that there's no change in duties, requirements, or wages, but that there is a functional change by authority and title. And if, if there isn't any change, then why? Why the need to relabel the position? By changing the name title in the civilian world under HR and everything, that leads the possibility of wage, job description, and a whole lot of other things that have been brought up. And then I feel that the, where the supervisor needs to listen to the direction of HR, and there is concern that eventually uh, the individual 
not the individual, but whoever was filling that, being called lieutenant, and that then expects other benefits that come with that title. If your sergeants don't understand, then you need to do a memo to make a claim to them. And it's not that you have to do a memo every time, but if if there's somebody that's doubting the authority that you've given that position, it needs to be cleared up with him, not by handing him a, a different title, but keep it within the structure that's there, or go to HR and ask for the for it to be changed through the system that's set up. That's my my belief. And not to deliver the point, but you. You took your reorganization um, in front of the association and, and the membership took a vote. It's my understanding that the, the membership kind of overwhelmingly rejected that reorganization structure with the lieutenant. And from an internal standpoint, the association voiced pretty strongly in opposition to your proposed restructuring. And within a short period of time, you have somebody identifying by uniform, business card, emails, that they're identifying as, as a position holder of that which the association pretty overwhelmingly rejected. And, you know, from an internal standpoint, that, 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 that's, that's within the purview of you to, to, to address, but I, I, I point that out as something that I would I would consider rather significant in terms of just confusion, morale, and kind of whatever. I don't know. So I'm I'm happy to change it back and I can work on that. That'll make it much easier for the human resources director. I will tell you that um, yes. The association overwhelmingly rejected my reorganization. I will say they rejected certain parts of it. Um, it it's fine. We are not dealing with a bunch of military personnel. That is the only difference between us and the military. When um, Supervisor Hagwood and I started in the sheriff's office, we had an overwhelming majority of prior military, and now I have an un underwhelming majority of military. But it, it's fine to change it back. I, I did not believe that this was going to be a huge issue. Apparently it is. So um, I will do that. I will address it with the memo and we move forward. Okay. I, I think that the devil's in the details. And that's, there are um, nuances that probably don't come to everybody's mind, but in human resources, the, the specialty that that is, uh, it, it does it does have uh, an impact.